Hey guys, good morning, it's Tony. Like always, before I start this video, I did wanna say please make sure to give me a like. It definitely helps out with the algorithm. Push my videos out to other people that enjoy my stuff just as much as you guys. Um, you know, if you need some TA on something, leave a comment. And if you like watching these pre-market videos, please subscribe if you're not. Um, I've actually noticed that most of the people that watch my videos are actually already subscribed, which is pretty awesome. Um, so that's why I just need people to like my videos to, to push these out to newer people because for some reason my retention rate is pretty crazy. Like everybody that is watching my videos are current subscribers, which is, I think is ridiculously awesome. I don't know if I've ever really seen that before. Um, <clears throat> but with that being said, let's get into the video. Um, man, this, this aftermarket move, <laughs> this aftermarket move is ridiculous, man. I did not expect us to jump so hard, um, from yesterday's levels. On SPY, we actually closed that, here we go. So yesterday on SPY, you actually ended up closing on the day, oh, actually, let's go to the day. So you actually ended up closing, right? You opened down at 390 and you closed at 394, closing that gap and you still pushed up to 397. So I'm still personally very bearish, very, very bearish. Even more so now that you actually have a gap that's going to be created from roughly 394 up to here at 397, depending on open. But I am just adding more shorts. I mean, I am martingaling into my position, which is fine. Yesterday, I actually cashed out on that drop. <clears throat> I actually cashed out probably one of my biggest days ever, um, and I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to post it on here. <laughs> Um, uh, probably just let my Patreon members know and probably not and probably leave it open here on to how much I actually made. <clears throat> but currently I am negative about because I added I piled onto so many shorts. I'm currently negative. Um what is it about a negative, I think like 50k in my Forex account. There you go. I am negative 50 yeah, 50k in my Forex account. I these are these right here. All right, you can see the small charge right there. These are actually the um the shorts that I just opened on my NASDAQ and SPX. So currently negative 50K, my account is still at 397. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I really, I'm not gonna show the profit that I made yesterday. Um, we'll just go with that. Um, but as of right now, um, what is it called? Um, yeah, I, I still think down, man. I still think down. Everybody, I mean, a lot of people seem to be very bullish. I am still extremely bearish. Um, I don't think that this is gonna, you know, come down to anything really i'm still like i said i'm still pretty bearish i still think we're going down to 374 at least 385 that's what i'm looking for um especially on you know especially back to what's, what's it called i think we're going back to trend here i think we're going back to trend here i think all this push up right here is is definitely just i don't know what this push up was i don't know who's buying i'm still bearish and i'm probably gonna keep um loading onto to to shorts to be completely honest um, just looking at the DXY as well, um, you did close a bullish day yesterday and you're starting to see some weak movement on the four, like the four hour really, right? The four hour, it's really just been, not, it's, you're actually been trading up. You actually ended up closing the four hour at 106.411. You're actually higher than that. Um, I would consider this, I would consider this four hour just all bullish movement because you have, you actually closed under, you actually above that close price for that four hour candle. So I consider this. You know bullish movement for the four hour on the on the dollar um and even right now i think range for right now that i can that, that i can probably give you guys i'm shorting all of this by the way i'm shorting i'm probably going to add more shorts right now um and you're more than likely going to create a gap between 394 and 397 which again is also pretty bearish on spy because you're going to because yesterday you had that gap from 390 to 395 you close that in the same day um you're gonna have a gap now from 394 to 397 I, it, you're probably gonna close that 394 gap today or maybe monday or something um <clears throat> but as of right now i'm just adding shorts this is essentially for right now um this is going to be your trading range your range right now is for for the day is probably going to be 398 to 390 or so um if we do actually end up breaking above and closing like full hour candles above this 398, we close like, you know, 399, 400, really good chance we're going to keep pushing to 407, I'll be completely honest. And I'll probably have to take an L on my position, <clears throat> on my shorts. Um, but I am looking at just loading a bunch of shorts right now because I do think we're going to end up pushing um, back to the downside, back down here. I, I really do not think we're actually going to push higher again, you know, 
take this with a grain of salt because um, I did not expect that move from yesterday to, to today, especially that, that much of it. We basically moved seven points from uh, yesterday's bounce, right? I really did think that we were going to go from, because I, I knew we were going to come back to 390. So I said yesterday in my video and then probably pop back to like 392, 94, which we did, but we kept pushing. That was, that was what I did not expect. I actually expected us to come down here at 390, push back up to like 394 ish and then come right back down. We actually broke this after hours and we kept pushing all the way up, which is pretty insane. Or actually uh, or intraday actually, we actually closed that gap intraday. Um, as of right now though, still pretty bearish. No reason for me to be bullish yet. I don't think so. Especially after that daily close on the SPX, on on the NASDAQ, and a bunch of other big tech. I think Google closed the same way. So Google had... See, and it's just it's just more gaps that are going to be created for everything, right? So Google is more than likely going to close the bear day today. I think Microsoft already closed it yesterday. <coughs> I think Apple closed it yesterday. No, Apple not yet. I think... Uh, let me see, Amazon... Amazon hasn't closed it hasn't closed it yet. What about Nvidia? Nvidia. Nvidia already on the second bear day, so I'd be shorting all of this. And ABNB, the freebie that I said that I gave you guys a couple days ago, man, you guys would you guys you guys would have been short since 107, right? You guys would have been short since since here. This is when I basically told you guys if you guys would have opened it right at open, you guys would have been in profit from 107 to now. So those would have been paying out right now pretty nicely. Right, so you you would have already been down a nice ten percent. If you would have bought options, it would have been a lot more. But um, you know, unfortunately, I actually didn't buy these yet. I was waiting for the daily to close, so it actually closed today. And I actually am in SPS SPXS calls, so I'm probably gonna take a. I'm, I might wait for ABNB to come and fill this gap up again at the one hundred four before shorting again. Um, but I want to see what the movement is like today. But I do want to get into airbnb shorts though these the, this thing does look like it's going back to 82 bucks and i definitely want to get in there uh for that drop uh, you know that's what i think and i should have gotten in the same day that i told you guys because i would have been up at least 100 percent right now which is gnarly um but yeah this is going to be my trading range this is what i think is going to happen anything above anything around this range i think is a short I, you know stop losses easily like at 399 or so if this breaks above here you start creating some big candles up here i think you're going to keep pushing to 407 uh, but other than that i i do think you're going to come back and fill that gap that's going to be created between 394 and 397 and that's probably going to you're going to fill that gap probably going to come back down at least that's what i at least what that's what i'm thinking longer term i am pretty bearish right now um and then we'll see what happens but you know Still bearish, not very bullish right now. I don't know why, you know, this move up is, is kind of, I still think there's a lot of hype on this bullish move up. So I do not really have a lot of conviction for all this bullish movement, right? At least in my opinion, I don't think there's a lot of conviction on this bullish push. And I do think we're going to come back down to 390 or so. And I, and I still think that we're on the road to 390, to three, back down to 374. Um, but if this actually breaks to the upside and you actually start creating some big candles up here, like one hour, four hour full candles, Oh man, my, uh, my theory is going to be, you know, down the drain. <laughs> You're probably going to like 407 or so. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.